Hi and welcome back to my channel. Now today I want to work on a junk journal cover. These are the signatures that I've got together. You may have seen in one of my BB craft videos. I put in, where is it? This one, this tuck spot and I did the um, sequence and I also in my last BB craft video I did these mixed media pages and the other one is over this side where are we over here all right so I'll keep adding to that but I want to work on the cover today <coughs> excuse me now I've got a cover and it's just the bare bones of it all put together um, it did come through a bit in the with the glue but I'm not worried about that because of what I want to do to the outside of it so my idea for this junk journal is I've got strips of these lacy things it's different strips of different types of um, just lace and curtaining and whatever I've got in my stash okay and I want to put each one on a buckle so here's my buckle collection whoa <laughs> I've got a lot of buckles now <laughs> so I want to pick out a few buckles that um, I'm just going to complement this now I don't want huge ones so you can put some of those big ones back that's gorgeous isn't it that could be a real focal point on it I'll leave that one out I don't want bright ones um, yeah I'm not real sure what oh, I don't mind that I sort of want to Say muted colours, you know, like I've got a lot of these ones. A lot of them. Look at that big one. <laughs> so I don't want oh look at that, that's cool. <sighs> I don't want huge ones. So we'll put them back as I go. Now I've just collected up these from the op shops for over the last few years. I found a lot recently in one of my videos that's coming up. Op shop craft of one. That's cool, isn't it? I'll just leave a few out that I think might go good on this project. I think we'll choose from them. Right. Put that out of the way. Now, my idea for it is to thread the different um, 
laces on. And I want to wrap it around right around like this. And each of the laces then will have a different colored um, buckle on it. And I want the front to have all different kinds of buckles. Like that. That in there. This was a piece of curtain. I think I DT dyed it. And then wrap that around there. And then another one. And then Just in different places on the book. What else have I got? And that's going to be too big, I think. I don't know whether I like any of those other colours. Maybe this brown one. I've already got a circle one on there. So let's try this one. What do you think of that? It's um obviously going to have to be sat down well, stuck down well. But that's sort of my idea for this junk journal cover. I don't know. What do you think? I'm put them on properly. And I may put other things on the front as well. <clears throat> I may embroider some something else on it, some little flowers, or or put some little flowers on it. I'm not sure yet, but that's my idea for this junk journal. So, um, without making it mega bulky, as well, I'll sit. I'm going to set them all here. Do one at a time. I want it to sort of, you know, come out a little bit as well. So it has to go around. See what I mean? It's going to cover up those bits and pieces that I didn't like. So I guess my first thought would be to glue the main part down. So let's do that.
right, so that's my. So <clears throat> I've let this dry because um, I had to fix some parts up in here um, on that uh, that were just showing the glue through a bit too much. But it's all dry now. I've fixed that problem and I like how it's looking. So yeah, this is um, um, just a little idea to use up some of those uh, beautiful buckles. So the signatures, I'm going to put them on, on a hidden spine so you won't see the, uh, the strings on the outside of this journal. They'll be on here and then I'll glue that into here. So that will go in there and they'll be hidden from the on the inside so I'm happy how that's come up and I'll keep going on my journal pages love the inside here a little bit of glue came through here but I might put something down the edges there just to um to hide that probably just a little bit of trim some sort of trim in a pocket maybe um but yeah so let me know in the comments what you think. I like to leave my backs plain so that will just get left plain and then this ribbon or this um, fabric will be the closure and um, that's all securely glued all under the, um, the doily and um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments. So if you're new here this is um, just a little bit of experiment I've been doing with these uh, vintage buckles and wrapping some all different types of lace or whatever around it. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And um, I will see you again soon for a new video. Bye.